I have with me today a hopeometer. What a hopeometer does is that it takes something we are hoping for and measures whether that hope was fulfilled or not and how successfully. For example, when a hope or expectation is met, the needle stays on the line or it shifts upwards a bit to indicate a sense of thankfulness, gratitude, or blessing. But when a hope or expectation is not met or something falls below our expectations, the needle drops downward. And sometimes the longer we wait for something, the more the needle drops, making it more and more difficult to come back even to center. Oh, it's almost there. You can do it. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes that needle on the hopometer goes way above the line as we experience an unexpected blessing or joy in our lives. Yay! But most often, it hovers below the expectation line. And if we're not careful, it can seem like the needle on the hopometer is broken. Uh, is this thing even working? But this is where Jesus comes in. Did somebody say Jesus? Ha <laughs> got you. Just kidding. You see, when we see it set our eyes on Jesus, our perspective changes. That even when the thing we're hoping for that doesn't come true, and that needle or that hope on the drops below the temperature this week, it's too cold for you here. <clears throat> Sorry. Even when the needle on that hopometer drops, let the bass drop. <laughs> really? Even when the needle on the hopometer is at its lowest, we have a hope that speaks into the challenges, changes, and the losses of life. But let's face it, it can be difficult to look beyond what's currently happening, or rather what's not happening, especially in tough times. And it's in those moments that we need to be reminded of that daily word and that daily promise from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare, not for harm, to give you a future with hope. What's my word again? Hope. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still hoping for X, Y, and Z. I'm still trusting that God will work miracles. But even in their absence, even when those expectations are not met or fall short, Jesus is still the hope of Christmas. Has been and always will be. He's the one who breaks the darkness. He's the one who steps into a broken world with the light of his spirit. As we often sing in that familiar Christmas hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in me tonight. And what I love about that line is that there's an acknowledgement that there's stuff going on in our lives. Yes, there's hardships. Yes, there's trials. Yes, there's losses. Yes, there's grief. But it's Jesus who is the hope of the world, the hope of our lives, and the hope of Christmas.